praise be to God, this morning we get to do something that is right out of the Great Commission, and that is baptize some new believers into the family of God. And so I'm going to ask at this time if those seeking baptism would come to the front. And if you would like to have your family come with you, that's fine. I'm going to ask you to stand right here in front of me, facing me if you would. I love these t-shirts. I have decided the best news of all to make a decision to follow him. Amen. What I want you to understand, church, is that baptism represents like nothing else. The purpose and mission of the church, that's what it's all about. That's why we're here. There is no other liturgy, no other rite, no other tradition that is more exciting and fulfilling than this right here. Today we celebrate what Jesus did for us on the cross. We celebrate grace and forgiveness from sin. We celebrate individuals who have received the gift, who have made a decision, and that decision is to ask Christ into their heart. And without apology, with boldness, stand before this great company of family and friends and said, I follow Jesus. We celebrate those whose names have been written down in the Lamb's Book of Life and have been given the assurance of eternal life. In Romans chapter 10, it says, How then can they call on the one they have not believed in? And how can they believe in the one of whom they have not heard? And how can they hear without someone preaching to them? And how can anyone preach unless they are sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. I'd like to read to you as a part of this sacred rite this morning and as a part of this commitment that is being made here today, some important words I'd ask you to listen. Baptism is the sign and seal of the new covenant of grace the significance of which is attested by the Apostle Paul in his letter to the Romans as follows, Or don't you know that all of us who were baptized into Christ were baptized into his death? We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may be raised to live a new life. If we have been united with him like this in his death, we will certainly also be united with him in his resurrection. The earliest and simplest statement of Christian faith into which you now come to be baptized is the Apostles' Creed, which reads as follows. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into Hades. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the church universal, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. And so I ask you for this morning... Will you be baptized into this faith? If so, answer, I will. Do you acknowledge Jesus Christ as your personal Savior? And do you realize that he saves you now? If so, answer, I do. Will you obey God's holy will and keep his commandments, walking in them all the days of your life? If so, answer, I will. Let me pray over you. Father, I'm thankful for these four. These who have made a commitment to Christ, we celebrate that decision. That they can say with all of their heart, with sincerity, I have decided. I have given my heart to the Lord Jesus Christ. I have claimed him as the Lord and Savior of my life. God, I thank you for your grace that is lavished on all of us, but we celebrate that grace that is represented in the lives of these four individuals this morning. And I pray that your Holy Spirit would guide them, direct them, protect them, Lord, make them into the disciples of the Lord Jesus that you have called them to be. Empower them for service. Empower them for love. And Lord, give them success as they represent your son. 
Bless them, I pray, in all they do and all they say. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can we applaud this morning? I think it's appropriate to celebrate what God has done. I'm going to ask you folks if you want to step over to the side. And you know I'm going to give you the speech that I always give you. This is a time of celebration. There is a time to be quiet, to be dignified. This is not that. This is a time to celebrate the goodness and grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. And so when these individuals are taken down into the water and they are brought back up out of that water, baptized in the faith, I want you to stand. I want you to celebrate. I want you to clap. However, God is leading you to celebrate his goodness and grace. Let's do that this morning as we welcome these into the family of God. Amen. Hi, my name is Michelle Sladek, and I've spent my whole life going to church, but I've always had the habit of running away from my faith when things got tough, always thinking I can handle this on my own and I will figure it out. When my best friend died at the age of 16, I ran as far from God as I possibly could. God was patient and waited for my Amen. slow return. I eventually came back. Then again, when we had to say goodbye to our firstborn son, I ran again, telling God I didn't want anything to do with him. Again, God stayed faithful and waited for my return. Yeah. I eventually came back. The paths I chose led me to sorrow and hopelessness. About two years ago, when my faith was shaken to the core by a family member, I was faced with wanting to run again. But with the help of a couple of amazingly wonderful friends, I chose to run towards God, Amen. which I highly Amen. recommend. He held me, lifted me up, and gave me a peace that only God can give. I had hope. I am a work in progress, but I want the world to know that I now choose to run every day into the arms Amen. of my hope, my light, my faithful redeemer. Amen. Thank you, Carol. Michelle has chosen as her life verse John 19, verse 30. When Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Michelle Sladek, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. My name is Jonathan Morgan. I am 33 and live in Howell. I did not grow up in a church or knowing anything about Christ. I've had a long battle with addiction and substance abuse and have felt as hopeless and lost as anyone can possibly feel. But on April 21st, 2023, I began my recovery journey. On that journey is when I began to believe in the idea of God and trying to learn more. Then God put an old friend back in my life and his belief, passion, and love for Christ helped me to understand that God is exactly what I need Amen. and what my life was missing. Amen. 
Since then, I've been working to improve my faith, my relationship with him every day. I began to attend a Bible study and attend in church every Sunday, which I believe has greatly improved my faith and my relationship with God. Praise God. I've seen the power in being baptized here, and I know this is the next step in my journey and to improving my relationship with God. Praise God. Praise God. Jonathan has chosen Psalm 28, verse 7 as his life verse. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in him, and he helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with my song, I praise him. Jonathan Morgan, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hi, my name is Shay Paul. I learned about Jesus from my mom and dad. And I want to be baptized because Jesus lives in my heart. Amen. I want my friends to know that Jesus loves you. And even if you sin, he still loves you. And he wants you to know him so you can go on and live forever. Amen. Amen. Shay, I'm glad you've decided. Her life verse, Romans 10, 9. If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Shay Paul, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Praise God. Have grace. Hi, my name is Reagan Barker. The reason I want to be baptized is because, or excuse me, the reason I want to be baptized is to have communion with God. I learned about God from going to church. I want my friends to know that if you believe in Jesus, you will be with him forever in heaven. Amen. Amen. Reagan, I'm so glad you've decided. And his life verse is Matthew 7, verses 7 and 8. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks receives, the one who seeks finds, and to the one who knocks, the door will be open. Reagan Barker, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Come on, sing with us. You stand with me this morning. Our Father, we thank you for your presence in this place today. We celebrate new life in Christ. We celebrate the gift that we have for grace, forgiveness, for eternal life. Lord, for your presence with us every day. I pray that as we leave this place this morning, I pray your blessing upon these good people at the Naz, Lord, that we as your disciples go from here into a world that we can love, that we can encourage, and we can represent Christ. In Jesus' name we pray, and all God's people said, amen. Amen. God bless you. You're dismissed. Oh, name.